What is up y'all? How are you guys doing today? Right now I'm currently in, I think it is Honduras. Kelsey, what country are we in? Oh, yeah, we are in Honduras. It's called Mahogany Bay, I think, something like that. We got Kelsey chilling over here. This is actually the fourth day of our cruise. If you guys watched my last video, I'll let you guys know I'm going on like a little cruise for a week. This is the third country we've been in. The first one was Cozumel, Mexico. The second one was Belize and now we are in Honduras, and this is this is awesome, man. So you guys saw me. We took this cool chairlift over. Right now, we are currently just chilling on the beach. We took a little dip in the water. It's so freaking nice here, man. It is so, so clear compared to back home. I mean, you know, Delaware and New Jersey kind of got that greenish kind of water. This is just blue, see-through. So the first two stops on this cruise is just kind of relaxed. You know, I took some time to focus on Kelsey. Took some time to focus on, you know, on life itself. Now, today, I'm actually coming at you guys. This is going to be really cool if I could pull this off. All right, I'm going to walk over here because I don't want anybody to hear me. Pretty much, guys, I have a little Shimano reel that I brought with me. It has some floral on it. It is a 1000 series reel. And also with me, we brought onto the island some boxes of cereal. I got Lucky Charms, I got Cheerios. I also brought some tiny hooks, some drop shot baits, some split shots. Just like a variety of light fishing tackle. There's a designated snorkeling area, like kind of over that way-ish. And I'm pretty sure like you're not allowed to fish here. Actually, you might be able to, I don't really know, but I want to like bring any attention towards myself. So I'm just going to be bringing the reel with me, the Cheerios, the cereal, and hopefully we can hand line in some fish. I mean, this is a designated snorkeling area. I'm guessing it's over some coral reefs or something like that. So there should be some nice tropical species of fish, some stuff that I've never caught before. We're gonna have to be a little bit stealthy, but I think we're gonna make this work. I mean, I hope at least because last night I actually ordered shrimp, like raw shrimp cocktail, and I might have left it at the dinner table. I wanted to use that for the bait today. I was gonna put it in a Ziploc bag, but I forgot it. So backup plan, cereal might dissolve in the water, might not even work. I don't know, man, but this is gonna be pretty fun. We're in Honduras, like Honduras. Never thought I'd ever be in freaking Honduras. Never thought I'd be fishing, doing what I love here in Honduras. This is just a great day. Hope you guys are having a great day. Let's see if we can catch some fish here. You guys see like literally how clear this water is. It is freaking bonkers, dude. That is our boat over there. This is a little reel I'm gonna be using. And over there, there's like kind of like a bridge thing. And on the left side of that, that is a snorkeling area. They actually have some kind of like net over in this swimming area that you can see everybody swimming in. So there's not gonna be too many fish over here, but there should be coral reefs and just like a bunch of cool stuff over there. That is where I'm gonna be headed. All right, so here's what I was working with. Again, you can see how insane this water is. So I just had a little size 12 hook and I was putting on a little piece of cereal. Right now it is Lucky Charms. It was pretty tough to get the cereal to actually stay on the hook, but once we got it on, you guys can see I had a little drop shot weight and we just dropped it down to the bottom. As you guys can see, a fish just stole my bait there. This was not easy. This is the first time I've ever done anything like this. I mean, it's crazy. It's like you're in a different world. You can see the fish swimming down there in their habitat, eating your bait. I was fishing underwater for exotic fish in a different country with cereal. Like, like, I, I don't even know. Man. I was just determined to hook into one and get a better view close up in the water. Oh, 
All right, please excuse my camera angles for that one, but that was my first fish I've ever caught underwater. How crazy is that? I'm pretty sure this is a bluehead wrasse. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that was so cool, man. He demolished the Cheerio. That's the first time I've ever caught that species. And just seeing fish up close like that underwater is just, is just something magical about it. Now, I'm not gonna lie, it took me a bit to catch this first fish, but it was super, super beautiful and crazy rewarding. Man, I cannot believe that worked. So the first fish I actually caught, guys, I know is called a ras or ras w r a s s e something like that. I'm not sure the exact name or like the scientific name or anything like that. The second fish, I am not. I, I don't know, man. I'm definitely going to be having to do some research tonight. I think I'm going to try to get the shrimp again, and tomorrow we're actually going to a beach. Hopefully, it is similar to this. Hopefully, we can get some different fish, man. If I had, dude, if I had shrimp, that would have been so much better. I don't know if you guys can see or not, but the Cheerios like they kept falling off and kept falling off. And Lucky Charms, I tried to put a marshmallow on it, it like dissolved in my hand. But overall, man, that was. That was that was really cool. I've never done anything like that before. I never caught either of those two species before, so those are two new species added to my list. That was just, oh my god. You thought the fish were cool? Yeah, they were all colorful. Just so you guys can see, man, this is where we were sitting. This is the island. There's palm trees, but in the background, just this is freaking picturesque, man. This is amazing. There's like mountains over there in the background. Nice like light, light sand. Kelsey Wu with the blue bag. Ooh, you rocking that. <laughs> I like the cool fishies in the blue water. What about the palm trees? Yeah, those are pretty cool too. Yeah, I freaking love the country. All right, y'all, that was a successful, successful day here at the beach. We have about an hour left until we have to be back on the ship, so we're gonna take the little magical airlift, ski lift thingy. Then we're gonna go explore, have a good time, get back, back on the ship. Yeah, hands up, get up, please. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Away we go. Hey, this is so cool. Thank you, sir. Oi. All right. To oh. the right. <laughs> to the right. <laughs> that was cool, man. So that is gonna be it here for Honduras. I figured out we are in Roatan, Honduras. Here's our room in our uh, cruise ship. It is a little messy right now. Let me just take you guys outside real quick. This is it, man. The little fenced-in area right there, that is where we were swimming, and just the other side of that is where we were snorkeling. We are finding all those fish. Yeah, it's a little loud out here. Let me take you guys back in and show you exactly where we are. By the way, look, look, look how cool this is, man. Every day they give you a different towel guy animal thing. This guy's a little monkey, man. Isn't that cool? He's like hanging up there. Let me show you guys where we are at. Ship's time, 317, 7, 19, 18. This is where we are. We are Roatan right now. We just came from Belize. The first stop of the trip was Cozumel, which was, it was really cool. That's like tied with this one. Maybe this one's a little bit better. And then tomorrow is Grand Cayman. Actually, here's a good map before it changes right there. Grand Cayman right there. Then we go back to Tampa. Havana, Unana. Now, if you guys have never like been on a cruise ship, I would highly, highly recommend it, man. Pretty much I think my brother-in-law describes it the best. It's just a floating 
castle. I mean, all you can eat shows. There's just so much stuff to do. There's a basketball court. There's mini golf. There's bars if you're into that. Places like this, I feel like I'm just like meant to be here. I mean, with the mountains, the greenery, the blue, blue water. Here's a room. I guess I can give you a room tour like really quick. So as you can see, you guys already saw this. We got the balcony out here. We got two chairs. We have a little, uh, where is it, where is it, where is it? A little table thing right there. It's just, you know, there's a nice balcony. You can see, I mean, this, this is, what am I saying nice? This is just amazing. You can just shut that and imagine what some other rooms would be that are on like the interior of the boat. Yeah, we chose to get the balcony. But yeah, so here's what we are working with. We got the bed right there. We wet towel on the bed do not tell kelsey yeah, it's a little bit messy right now we just got back from honduras so we have this like nice couch thing right here all my camera stuff all of our stuff that we took today we got a tv we have a safe in there we got a counter with some stuff in it we have one two three closets let me go show you one of them then in here here we go man nice bathroom that's pretty much i mean that's the room right there we really don't spend too much time in the room on these cruises and then you just go out the door Whoa. hello but yeah, man, that's our room. I'm just like so excited because tomorrow we're doing a really, really cool excursion in Grand Cayman. I'm gonna have the GoPros. Hopefully, I'm gonna have this camera. It's, it's something I've never done before. It's something I've always wanted to do. I'll be bringing you guys along. You know, I mean, I just took the first couple of days of the cruise to relax. I mean, during the Iceland trip. I know it seems like I'm going on vacation a lot, but even on vacation, like I'm still, my mind is still in video mode, you know? So I try to get out of that for a few days. I feel like it was good, you know, for my brain up here. But to be completely honest, man, I just, I missed it. I feel like my brain like works in video mode now. I always want to shoot. I always want to film I'm always thinking like you know how can I make this better how can I make this better so yeah guys I'm gonna be bringing you guys along pretty much for the rest of the trip honestly I'm just gonna put some headphones on sit out on the chair on the balcony and just zone out man just think about life look at the mountains look at nature yeah man hopefully you guys are ready to come along the adventure all right, y'all, that is pretty much going to be here for this video today. I never thought I would be doing anything ever in my life like this. But yeah, catching fish underwater like that was really, really cool. Shout out to Kelsey. She actually really helped me out. She was keeping like the cereal out of the water a little bit, keeping it a little dry so it didn't just all turn to mush right away. Even though that eventually did happen, I mean, fishing with the cereal, it was not easy. Like, we were out there for a long, long time. I was able to catch some fish, though. New tropical species at that. So, I mean, it was definitely all worth it. I just want to thank each and every one of you guys for watching this video thank you guys for all of the support I, I cannot thank you guys enough for all that man if you guys did enjoy this video feel free to give me a thumbs up if you are not already make sure to go down there hit the subscribe button if you do enjoy my videos and if you never ever want to miss an upload from me go down there hit that notification bell and yeah again i cannot say it enough thank you guys so much for all your support let's keep this rolling man thank you guys for watching see you next you video